Let's say 2019 will be a better year for the world of sports. When I say come on from football to basketball to rugby and the other ones them. Old record, they break them. New one, they set them. We get plenty, plenty up and down, but still on the street matter, they say the year na better year. We'll bring on a touch lighting of the sport matter for 2019. If there's one thing 2019 has delivered, it is great moments in sports. Records have been set and broken. Impossible feats have been achieved. Hats have been broken and overdue victories finally came to realization in front of millions of fans and friends around the world. 2019 did not live short of its expectations as some saw it as one of the biggest sporting year for them, while others thought it was the worst for them. After enduring the loss of the UEFA Champions League victory to Real Madrid in 2018, Liverpool proved once again that they are a force to be reckoned with as they went on in 2019 to beat first-timers Tottenham Hotspur in the finals to clinch the UEFA trophy after 14 years. It doesn't get any better than this. In the English Premier League, Manchester City won the title by a point ahead of Liverpool who finished second. And City also emerged as the winners of the League Cup and the FA Cup. 2019 also saw three African players emerge as joint top scorers in the English Premier League. Egypt's Mohamed Salah and Senegal's Sadio Mane both playing for Liverpool. And then Arsenal and Gabonese striker Pierre Emerick Aubameyang won the Golden Boots after scoring 22 goals for their clubs. In the Europa League final, Chelsea defeated Arsenal to lift the title and afterwards Eden Hazard, Chelsea's star, joined Spanish giants Real Madrid. In the transfer window, Manchester United striker Romelu Lukaku joined Inter Milan on a fee of £75 million, with his fellow teammate Alexis Sanchez joining him on loan. A Nigeria winger and midfielder Alexi Wobi joined Everton on a record fee, making him the most expensive Nigerian player. Another Nigerian, Victor Osimen, completed his move from Belgian club Sporting Charleroi to French side Lille for a fee reported to be around £12 million. Arsenal fired Unai Emery after 18 months in charge as a result of his winless run in the 2019-2020 campaign and appointed Freddie Lindbergh as interim manager, who was then replaced by Mikel Arteta as the club's new manager. Tottenham Hotspur also let go of Maurizio Pochettino and appointed former Chelsea and Manchester United manager Jose Mourinho. And after a long search for a win in the EPL, Everton fired Marco Silva and appointed Carlo Ancelotti, who was sacked by Napoli after qualifying the team for UEFA Champions League round of 16. And in tennis, 15-year-old Coco Golf made headlines at Wimbledon when she beat her idol Venus Williams to become the youngest player to advance to the round of 16. In the Rogers Cup, Rafa Nadal won the men's singles title to reach his 19th Grand Slam title. And Bianca Andrescu won the women's singles title, defeating Serena Williams in the finals and becoming the first Canadian to win a Grand Slam singles title. In golf, Tiger Woods secured his legacy and made one of the greatest comebacks in sports with his win at the Masters Tournament, claiming a major title and also ending an 11-year drought. In basketball, Toronto Raptors became the first team based and originated in Canada to win the NBA title. And two great players in the NBA also retired from the game this year. Miami Heat veteran Dwayne Wade and Dallas Mavericks legend Dirk Nowitzki retired from the basketball game after almost two decades on the court. In rugby, South Africa made history when they beat England to win the World Cup in Japan and became the first country to win the rugby championship and the Rugby World Cup in the same year, surpassing New Zealand and Australia. In Africa, Egypt hosted the Nations Cup and Algeria won their first title since 1990 after defeating Senegal to clinch the title. In Europe's most prestigious award, Argentina and Barcelona's Lionel Messi won the Ballon d'Or for the sixth time, surpassing Netherlands and Liverpool's defender Virgil van Dijk and Portugal and Juventus' Cristiano Ronaldo, who has won it for a record five times. In boxing, British boxer Anthony Joshua defeated Andy Ruiz Jr. in a rematch in Qatar after losing his first match to Ruiz to reclaim the four belts, the WBA, the IBF, the WBO and the IBO. 
Olympic Eagles and Super Falcons of Nigeria failed to qualify for the Tokyo 2020 Olympics and the Golden Neglect of Nigeria crashed out of the Under-17 World Cup in Brazil. And on the domestic front, the Nigeria Professional Football League ended with Enyimba announced as champions after an abridged version of the league was run by the league management company. In the Zenith Bank Women Basketball League, Air Warriors were crowned 2019 champions after a hard-earned 55-53 to point victory over MFM Queens. And in beach soccer, the Sand Eagles of Nigeria ended the year without a win in the Beach Soccer World Cup hosted by Paraguay. 2019 is indeed a year one would not forget easily. And as we look forward to the year 2020, we expect more suspense, intrigues and record-breaking moments. Have a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. From Plus TV Africa, Udoka Njoku.